Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Top Top Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> A Baker Group of Companies and Sami Flex TV present September to Remember. And in September to Remember, Dubai tour with Sami Flex. ATM or Akonya Naoni Yako Dubai. Nama ko show any suwa diye. Na fe ya san suwa jie niya bo. Na yebe ko tour places bi ti se. Desert Safari. Dubai Frame. Atlantic's Water Park. Dubai City Tour. Na fe yach part in su tuye tia. Na ya san suwa party in the cloud. Inti ema yen ko mani yeme kanchero. Da bi ya ye September to Remember. Dubai tour with Sami Flex. Na ye basu 24th September. Diko si 29th September. Anne. Enti for any reservation. Anasen chile chile mubia. Any fresh ha huma true for we. 0243-514732. Anna plus 971-559-494061. Proudly sponsored by Sankofa Restaurant. Taste Africa. Ahine Baji My TV. Anna Fei. EDK Media. September to remember Dubai tour with Sammy Flex. Ebe ye kikim. So we would have to wrap up the week in a mm. grand style with all the beautiful people out there waiting for us to do it this way. This is Showbiz Daily. Showbiz Daily is live on Sammy Flex TV. On a Friday like this, you know how we do it. We take it cool, calm, and collected as we wrap up the week. We go have some rest for some two days. Then we come back stronger, harder, and better on Monday to continue with our activities. My name is Sammy Flex. In the studio, I have all my gentlemen seated. Roland Amate back from work, Shakzi, and Kojo Keen also on an agenda <laughs> somewhere like that. <laughs> but we still have to do what we've got to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our world. And we are about to see some of the leading and trending stories and look at the pertinent ones. Look for solutions for our industry. That is what many of our platforms are not doing. How to sit together and look for the fine solutions that will help keep the problems we have in our space so today if you are here you should know it is how we do it and we want you to join us with your comments share with someone tell someone that Sammy Flex and his people are wrapping up the week on showbiz daily and it is good like this 
Special thanks to Digital Rasta. He's also called Karen C, who is handing our camera. And Richie Flex is the editor director of our show. Thanks for being a part of it. Tap Tap Send is still here. Anytime you want to wire money from abroad to Ghana, only one app does it better, and that is Tap Tap Send. T A P T A P Send, and you are good to go. Download the app today, and let's see what we can do. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank um, you. I have some interesting stories. One that I know has been championed by Kojo on several platforms, mm. and I don't know why Kojo seems to be so elated about that particular story is Sarko Dier's post on CEO of Charter House, organizers of Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, aka VGMA. Sarko Dier posted about him, said a thing or two, and Kojo seems to be all over the place with that post. And in fact, he influenced me to make this story a part of our topics today. Kojo, what, what is your interest, what is your excitement about this post that you seem to be all over the place with it? Okay, so in recent times, um, we've seen how our musicians are not, um, in fact, showing uh, some level of commitment towards the VGMs. Mm -hmm. And we know as an industry, we've, we've had our issues. Yeah. Artists are having their issues with the scheme mm -hmm. and all of that. But I believe um, there's no family without um, squirrels. Squ uh, squ Quarrels. Quarrels and all of that. We have our scores to settle. Mm -hmm. But you can't um, let a brother, a brother die because of just one or two issues that we have. Okay. So even blood brothers and sisters, they fight. They quarrel, yeah. True. But you need to come to a level that, okay, in the, at this time, I need to make sure that I secure the family or let a brother or a sister succeed. So we don't let our issues overtake the bigger um win of, of of the family and so in as much as our uh, people think the scheme is not doing one or two things we shouldn't lose sight of the benefits that it has brought to the industry imagine um mr yode never dreamt of um bringing this up what could that the vacuum have been filled it couldn't have been filled we would we, do, we, we wouldn't have been thought of what would have been in the state of VGMs. Mm -hmm. So the man has really played a greater role for the industry, regardless of whatever ever, everybody thinks. Mm -hmm. So for Sarkoide to go out there and post the picture, I was happy. Because oh. at least it will give a good face of our industry. That yes, we have in our back door, we are fighting, but let the people also know that in as much as we are fighting there is some positive thing in there so i was happy i wish a lot more of the artists will also See, come out and also appreciate the man because he's not the wife is who, which of them is the wife Nigerian? is the Ghanaian. the wife is the Ghanaian. yeah and, and the, the man is the Nigerian. Yeah, so by yeah. marriage the man has really invested and that's the flagship award music awards in our country mm. how about so, those who would argue that he's also making money exactly he's of also course. making money but um there are there are other investment that he could have done mm -hmm. there are other nigerians who are in ghana investing in different different angles mm -hmm. but he chose to um invest in the creative space so for that mindset alone he needs to be given his flowers okay. and regardless i want I, I don't I don't think any Ghanaian can stand and say the man has not done anything for our, our our space. He has really done a lot. We know musicians who jump on the stage and after that it catapulted them to wherever they are now. We have Ghanaians who are also working under him. They are, they are benefiting and money that is being raised from this event sponsorship, some stay in, in the in the space. So I'm happy Sarkodie has done it. However, whichever way anybody may view it, I think it's a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So I dove my heart off for, for Sarkodie for saying those kind words about, about the man. And it shouldn't just stay there. We should see a level of support for the scheme. They shouldn't let it die for the sake of the new ones coming because it is still the dream of some young musicians to be on that stage 
So if imagine next year we don't see VGMAs anymore, it means a lot of people are going down. And so the the roles that they have to play. I remember back in the days 2010, Sir on that platform, it was a huge, it was a huge um, time for him. Okay. And from there, he has he has been able to add add up to his craft. So he should see that in 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 that light and think of the younger generation who are coming who needs um the platform probably sarkodie may not need it so much at this point in his in his career he may be setting other higher goals but he should know that other people are down there they need that platform so when it's vgma sharing their flyers making an appearance if you are around and all of that saying good good words about the scheme and all of that will go a long way to also help maintain it. And that is what we have to do. And that is what um, Rema recently said mm. when he went to the headies. Mm, mm, that yes, mm. yes, we need to, he's not there just for the awards alone, but also to support the, 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 the scheme that made them who they are today or contributed one way or the other to their craft. So that is why I, I, I share the post and I think it is worth discussing. Okay, so what did he say? Let's try to read that before Roland also come through. Um, Sarkodie posted a photo of Yola Ayuade, and this is what he added. He says, we, the industry, want to say thank you for all you've done for us, Yola Ayuade, um, still standing the test of time. It is a beautiful story, and hopefully... One day we get to watch your documentary with your position. You have understood what it entails and stood firm to still give your all. Anyway, that won't stop us from fighting with you from time to time. Joke, but as a true sea boss. Again, we appreciate you. Now, Richie, let it be there like that. Let me see if mm -hmm. I can do some analysis of what Sarkodie has written. It says, we, it means he did not see himself as the only person mm. who would want to appreciate the gentleman in the photo. We means every other person who has taken an award. Every other person who has been part of the VGMS, journalists, award winners, in fact, those who even provide logistics for them, say we, that is what he means. And he says, it is a beautiful story and hopefully one day we get to watch your documentary. You've understood what it entails and stood firm to still give you all. And again, one thing that we I want us to say that, that won't stop us from fighting with you. Underlined fighting with you from time to time. And he says it's a joke though. But as a true sea boss. What's the meaning of sea? The sea he wrote there, what's the meaning? Uh, well maybe a true has, sea boss. It has a different meaning. So maybe I wish I also understood what he meant country by boss this. Or something. Country boss. Well, uh, however. Mm. Says again, we appreciate you. Could you, before I come to Roland, let me do this one minute with you. Mm. Could it be his recent experience abroad has told him that winning maybe an award here in Ghana or even that performance he did on that stage, uh, can we say it is out of his recent encounter abroad? Because he's just there uh, and I, th I think he's even gone back mm. because he's going to continue his American tour. Mm. Could it be his experience from there that is telling him to do this? Yes. It could be an experience, just that we may not know what that experience might be exactly. But you know, as we grow, we, our understanding gets better. Mm -hmm. Because some of the things that we lose sight of, mm -hmm. or we don't cherish, at times when we grow, we begin to appreciate them the more. True. So now, where he's going, and some of the encounters, he may feel like, okay, Charlie, we've not done enough to celebrate such a person or the scheme because i always believe that somebody will plant somebody will water somebody will re weed around it somebody will fence it before the tree will grow mm -hmm. now from all the stages you need to appreciate each one of them mm -hmm. the one who planted if he hadn't plant there wouldn't be any any tree for somebody to even water it Fact. or uh, fence it or weed around it. Mm -hmm. So we all play different roles. 
So back 2010, somebody gave you a platform, and that was so important for you at the time. And now you have graduated to different levels. So if we sit down and people are chasing, like you feel proud to be awarded a BET, you feel proud to be awarded a, a Grammy, but you don't cherish where it started from. You may be doing something wrong um, technically. Mm -hmm. And so I want to believe maybe uh, man has reflected and has experienced some level of consciousness to know that, hey, let's give it back to the people who we started with mm -hmm. because they believed in our, our, our craft. They made us have had the original feel of how it takes to even hold a plaque mm -hmm. as an artist. Mm -hmm. So if you are writing your story, there's no way you can omit that part of the story. Mm -hmm. So why not give it that reverence that it, it deserves? Mm -hmm. So I want to believe, yes, it could be that traveling, he has experienced certain levels of appreciation. And when it hits you, you know that, okay, Charlie, this one, it, 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 it supersedes the rest, but maybe I am not paying the, the right attention to it. Mm -hmm. And so it could be from experience. Maybe we might not know the exact experience, but I want to believe as human beings grow, our level of understanding and wisdom and how we see things uh, differs. Mm -hmm. So I want to believe at this point, Sir Cordier is now realizing that, okay, we need to take a critical look at our base. Okay. and see where it all started from. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's a form of blessing and a form of people who are yet to honor you to see that, okay, this guy has some level of gratitude because if you don't honor what you have today, mm -hmm. what shows that tomorrow what you get, you, you, you honor it. You appreciate it. And gratitude means let it come more. So I think maybe some experience that he's had. Okay, Ro, um, you can continue from there. How you also interpret what Sarkodie has posted? As I mean, for me, I think Sarkodie has said something huge that the industry needs to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I remember some time ago you did an editorial about some artists that need to be protected regardless <laughs> of <laughs> however they behave mm, or mm, the things they mm, do mm. and all that. You see, this particular piece by Sarkodie says it all. Okay. In fact, it even comes to confirm that editorial that you did. Mm -hmm. You see, and I am glad he did not let this out. Anyway, that won't stop us from fighting with you yes. from time to time. Mm -hmm. Even though he added a joke, it is still that particular statement. He means it. He means it. Mm -hmm. It may be on the lighter side, but he means it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that that this particular line supersedes the rest. In fact, he he circled here now together with other people who would understand this post would see the bigger picture that some people contribute to the industry. Mm -hmm. There are some risks that some people have taken. There are some pains that some people have set. And without them, I, we, I am not sure that particular deed would have been in existence. Mm -hmm. And that is what I believe Sarkozy is talking about. Okay. There are so many things that some people have done, which have given some people some level of importance today. True. One has to do with people, certain people making certain risk or taking certain risk like this man. Okay. When he says from time to time, you see, he has stood the test of time, like stood firm to still give us your all. Mm -hmm. Look at year in, year out, how this particular scheme is always bashed. Mm -hmm. At the end of every edi edition, there are some people who will still not be pleased, regardless of how they do it. Mm -hmm. Even if they on the night, they give every nominee award, still, you will still find some people who, they, who wouldn't be pleased with it. True. However, these people have been able to still hold their foot and when you look at the bigger picture of that particular attempt or that particular deed, you will know that it has served more good than harm. 
Mm. And when you think about it this way, you would understand where Sarkodie is coming from. Okay. There are some people that, like he's saying, you continue to fight them time to time because you may not like how they approach things. Mm. How they do their How things. they do their things, how they operate. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the bigger picture, in terms of what that particular action is serving to the industry, mm -hmm. you would appreciate them like how Sarkozy is appreciating this man today. Mm. Mm. So mm. many people mm. may not like him. Yeah. But let's look at that particular mode of operation in terms of an award scheme, the purpose in which it has served the industry. Okay. And let's take it out and see the gap that would have been there or would be there if this thing was out of the industry. Like we just said, there are so many people whose life is dependent on this particular scheme. True. So many people left to this scheme alone, so many people wouldn't have been able to make it. I'm talking about musicians. Mm -hmm. And even if not from, like it goes even beyond musicians. Mm -hmm. Some people, even in the event space, who have gained lots of experience in the event world, is connected to this. Yeah. And they have also served their quarter in the industry. Mm hmm they've provided employment for even the whole country at large. True. Talk less the economic benefits that come with it. And year in, year out, despite the challenges that they face, any businessman who, who can just wake up today and say, hey, it is my business. Why should I do my business for you to come and insult me? I, want, I will go and do a different <laughs> thing. And you can't do focus to them. Mm -hmm. If this man decides to stop BGMA today, Yes, we know we now we have so many awards scheme springing up. But look at remember what I told um Robert Clark when we met mm, in Sugar mm. Yeah. Look at look we know that we have so many awards schemes springing up, but the magnitude of this particular scheme supersedes all. True. So yes, he may decide to say I will not do it again, and some people will try to fill the void, but mm -hmm. it will not be as this particular scheme is doing mm -hmm. so regardless of whatever it is and you see the point that he made he did not say oh the man is an angel or his entity uh, is angelical mm -hmm. the fact that he even said oh we will continue to fight with you from time to time means that Charlie it is an they industry also, he understands they also have the yes uh, yeah he understands that Charlie this is an entity this is a human institution and it will definitely come with things that so many people wouldn't like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if that is the case the fact that you are you disagree with somebody's mode of operation doesn't squash the positives that whatever they are bringing to society. Mm -hmm. You can agree with them if you look at the bigger picture. True. Maybe you might not like the way they operate, but True. when you look at the bigger picture, you will definitely appreciate them like how Sarkozy is appreciating this man. So me, I agree. So many people have done it. The likes of Shatawale, Stone Boy, Sarkozy, or Bradford. Even when Red Rock Stone started the hip life movement, so many people spoke against it. Oh, what, what kind of movement is this? Whilst you are doing this particular genre, you are also bringing this, and you are brewing vagabonds, you are doing this, you are doing that. But some people took the risk. Okay. Some people joined that particular movement. Mm. And now, out of that, we even have Sarkozy from hip life. Let's check almost our top artists currently, and let's even ratio how many of them are from that particular hip life movement Era. and you okay. know that that particular movement regardless of all the negative around it has served a positive impact to our industry so me this is huge that even goes beyond uh Ayuwade. Mm -hmm. in fact it even goes to other quarters where people have taken certain risk and is serving a greater good for our industry so would you would you expect more of such posts from other creatives well i i i wouldn't <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Why? What does it mean? They are not seeing. No, it is not as if they are not seeing. You see, they are like I said, this particular post or mood goes beyond this particular man. Maybe somebody is appreciating this man from this angle. Another person might also appreciate another distributor like the Big yeah, Ben. Somebody else. Somebody else from a different sector. Mm -hmm. To say, mm -hmm. okay, had it not been you people who were helping us distribute our songs, our cassettes, our CDs and all that we wouldn't also have been able to make money out of the songs that we chose to do or out of the music that we chose to do so yes yeah, sarkozy would appreciate this man from that angle of um an event 
award scheme mm -hmm. and that angle some another person would also choose to celebrate the big band and despite them for their contribution it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that mm -hmm. they don't see what this man has done like okay. they see it but then everybody would have to appreciate from different angles depending on how they see it so I me mean, if somebody doesn't do it i wouldn't be surprised but i would not also not hang them for not seeing the good that these people have done well let's move on to other stories and i beg you up also for letting us discuss it mm -hmm. because if it were to be the reverse if mm -hmm. sir Kode would have said negative things about the man mm -hmm. it would have been everywhere mm -hmm. everybody would have discussed it mm -hmm. but because it's positive words, uh -huh. not many will. They will just see yeah, it and yeah, let yeah. it slide. Uh -huh. But this is what we need as yeah, because an industry. I, I know your intention is to make it trend. Of course. Exactly. Because if Sakoda had said something negative about negative, BGMA, it would like, have, like, it like it would now, have now, blown by now. Everybody would have discussed Ooh, it. But here. this is what we need because we are at a stage that investor confidence is very low. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so if... I, I think of this man's consistency and yeah. I'm amazed. And do, do you know, last, <coughs> the last time we traveled with um, his PR, mm. Robert Clark, Robert to, to, to Sugar Cope, yeah. and he told us that, Charlie, it is not every year that we make profit. Of. No, 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 no. Sometimes they lose miserably. You lose. You lose. And sometimes they oh. lose miserably. You lose. Yet the next year, you see them. For, for 20 something years. years. Mm. And the consistency. And so. God bless Akodia for doing that. I mean, I'm happy he's done it. Any mm. which way somebody will look at it, yes. Mm. This is the best way to grow an industry. Nothing yeah. else, nothing more. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's beautiful. Baba Sadiq is my guy. Mm. Kelly Nilante is my guy. Both of them are Who on a certain agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them are on a certain agenda that I would want us to discuss. First, Richie, bring Kelly Neal at his post. Uh, no, Ke Kelly's first. Uh -huh. This is what Kelly posted, though. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Ghana's IT couple. Chebo, I wish Chebo is here today. <laughs> um, Kelly wrote, My 13-year-old daughter asked for a Spotify account on her new phone. So I created a new email and signed up for a new Spotify account in Ghana. This is the first screen for her to select her first artist. Spotify in GH, and this is what we get. No Sarkodie, no Famille, no Stoneboy, no Shatawale, no Lumba, no Kojo Anchi, no Miss V, no Jackie, no Episode, no Kamido. Ghanaian music executives are insulting me because of this. Ask yourself how many GH teenagers are signing up and this cultural imposition is being used on them. GH teenagers will not respect GH artists, let alone idolize them. They are going to idolize and have favorites of the ones being thrown at them. The Gen Z teens are all on Spotify and they are seeing these things. Chamu, I wish he was here today. Of course, he'll be watching. Maybe I'll force him to do a video on this. So this is what Kelly Nilate is saying, that his 30-year-old daughter wanted a Spotify account. He decided to use a new Gmail account to do the opening. And when he did, though in Ghana, all the suggestions that came, no Ghanaian artist was there. And he thinks if we are to push our music industry this way. Okay, so this is it. Thank you, Richie Flex. This is it. These are the suggestions that Spotify gave you. Mm -hmm. New account. Mm -hmm. These are the suggestions. Mm -hmm. No Ghanaian artist. Mm -hmm. No, none. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they'll ask you to select your favorite. And mm -hmm. this is the favorite. It's not as if you can type them or you can't type them. No. They bring it to you to select. So at least we've seen a King Promise King there. Promises, after after a long stroll, stroll. <laughs> after a long stroll, one can promise is also a, there is black there. Also come. Okay, that's all I guess. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we had to out of the thousand. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, so when Kelly Nilate posted this, Baba Sadik 
one person that I also respect has industry knowledge also came to respond this way. He says, this is called algorithm bias. And it's a major issue for industries across the world. The other time, on um, in the editorial, I handled this. I know people are still commenting about that even now. Now, Baba Sadiq's first line. Shout out to um, a gentleman who called me from Nigeria. Is it Madonna or something? I've forgotten his name. Listen to Baba Sadiq's first line. This is called algorithm what? Bias. Bias. And it's a major issue for industries across the world. Solution. Baba came with a solution straight. He says, a mix of advocacy like Kelly Neal Atemese has been regularly doing and some behind the scenes engagement with execs of these DSPs. Kelly's advocacy will be better amplified when talents become very vocal about it as well. A number of tweets plus mainstreaming of the conversations in the media will help it. But wait to why is advocacy and these behind the scenes engagement always left to other industry folks other than talent? They wait till the final lapse of it when we are closer to solving it and they come with their fanatics and some one or two tweets to want to take credit. CC, Kwame Dazi, Ricky Tennyson, Pefi Infojo, Bella Mundi. Let's start mainstreaming this particular issue for the good of the industry. <laughs> I love the CC squad. <laughs> yeah, the people he knows they will discuss. The people he copied. Yeah, the people he knows they will discuss. The others, yeah, he knows they won't discuss. So this is why he brought. Mm. Now, it is so obvious that Baba Sadiq has seconded what Kelly Nilate is pushing. Chemo will disagree. Chemo will not agree. I think today I would have to call Chemo live on the show to be a part of this. <laughs> I still want to hear from him whether he is ready or not. Um, Richie, send it to Chemo and tell him that I'll call him after my two guests have finished talking. Send it to Chemo. Send the, uh, the post of these two guys to him and tell him that I want his opinion, whether far or near to this. Ro, mm. is this something we need to push? <coughs> Kelly Nilate's point, Baba Sadek's secondment, and me, I've talked about this. I can say you go on YouTube, you still read tweets. Um, sorry, comments. So many people even called me as a stance now. We are still discussing it. Let's discuss this. Call Chemo for me. I'll pick Chemo's opinion on this. That's Give him the post and tell him that I want to call him live on the show. Uh huh. This this is some of the conversations I want Kelly to be championing. Mm -hmm. You know, this is different from what we discussed yesterday. Oh, not yesterday's one. I mean, this is different from what we discussed yesterday. Mm -hmm. The one we discussed the other time, I did not agree with him. Mm -hmm. But this particular one, I am tempted to give him about 70% mm -hmm. of listenership or attention. Is that an arrogant talking? Of attention because mm -hmm. of what it is ah, bringing. Okay. Mm -hmm. of what he, he or she uh, he is bringing with Baba Sadi. Mm -hmm. You see, we live in a world where these things that we use are, are created by ourselves. We control them. Whatever manipulations that come with it, we do. Mm -hmm. Lately, if you, if you follow the artificial intelligence conversation on the internet, mm -hmm. and you see things that people are doing with AI, Mm -hmm. Some of these things would not shock you. Mm -hmm. And I am very happy the angle at which he is taking this particular conversation. Mm -hmm. He is not attacking like some people as being the cause of this, mm -hmm. but the institution that operates these platforms. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, somebody will challenge. If you don't like it, create your own. Hmm. You understand. If you don't like it, create your own. But we, you, somebody can also argue that, yes, I have not created my own yet. 
or perhaps mine even did not stand. Yet you saw it fit to operate in my country. Mm -hmm. And if you would want to operate in my country, definitely you would have to operate by my rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. If this happened to be a country where certain things are banned and those things find themselves on that platform, definitely mm -hmm. before they enter into this country, it will be banned on our, on our internet waves before it even gets here. Okay. Assuming certain type of songs are banned in this country. Mm -hmm. and they find themselves on the Spotify. Mm -hmm. Definitely, the government of this country will find ways and means to make sure that those contents do not enter here. Okay. And that's what I'm talking about. Same way, if we happen to find ourselves in situations like this, and like Baba Sadiq said, sometimes the people have just created a mechanism which is just moving. Mm -hmm. And we are not aligning ourselves with it. Mm -hmm. So always it will go against us. I'm sure when you contact the, the institution, they will tell you, oh, we are not the ones controlling. Okay. You guys are the ones consuming these products. That's why. Which is why it is suggesting to you people. That's, that's the only explanation they will give you. I know and that. if you want, even want to challenge, they can give you science and data <laughs> that will even back it. See, one of them is that is this. I have Kudu's number. Mm -hmm. I have your number. Mm -hmm. The two of you registers, like sign up on Spotify. And when you are giving suggestions like this, oh, choose the ones that, like, these things determine your behavioral pattern. Mm -hmm. So, oh, assuming Kudu chooses Ira Star, chooses the video, chooses Bernard Boy, and you come, you choose Mafi Kizolo. You choose Arasta and you choose Bernard Boy. Mind you, you chose two out of what could you choose. Mm -hmm. So the algorithm will read it this way that you and Kojo have a similar behavioral pattern in terms of the things that you like. Mm -hmm. Now, because I have both of you numbers, if I am also going to sign on that same platform, there is a high tendency that. The algorithm would know that, okay, since you guys find yourself in the same jurisdiction and are choosing similar stuff, there is that possibility it would suggest similar, if not all the three, two from what you guys chose on the platform to me. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are seeing. So if Kelly registered, signed up a new account for his daughter mm -hmm. and is getting these push-ups, then it's what it means is that there are so many people in the space who are either consuming or there are some people at the background who are making these suggestions to them whether you like it or not okay and that is what baba sadiq is saying mm -hmm. so the only solution is what baba sadiq said it is either these things are controlled we can control them from front since we don't have that mechanism to go and control them from behind mm -hmm. to say oh we are Ghanaians we want every suggestion whenever somebody is signing up in Ghana to be this way okay. majority of Ghanaian content we don't have that mechanism or that energy to go and fight that battle behind the scenes or behind these, ma these machines therefore the only way we can fight it or we can do an attempt is to fight it from the forefront that means when it comes to streaming, when it comes to hashtags, when it comes to mentioning, we should be able to deliberately mention our own more mm -hmm. so it can push up whenever somebody is even trying to suggest from the back end. Okay. Because at the end of the day, this is a machine that is operating. Okay. And it's like garbage in, garbage out. Whatever you feel it is what it gives you. Mm -hmm. So if you are also able to deliberately give it that mentioning, okay regardless of whatever suggestions they are making because if an app if it suggests something to you and you quickly passes it registers as something you don't like okay so okay this thing comes pass 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 can promise come you wait more it will register as something you like somebody same way if he also does the same thing you also do the same thing all these <coughs> contribute to make it huge on the airways for them to know that okay in this jurisdiction this is what it means mm -hmm. in south africa 
It is I'm a piano that is raining. Mm -hmm. I tell you, last time I spoke with one of the music clubs there, he, he would tell you that, Charlie, if you want your I'm a piano song to rotate on South African airwaves, aside you paying for promotion, mm -hmm. you would have to collaborate with them. Okay. Before. So, even with them, the moment you register for some of these things, yes, they will give you some of these suggestions, but I tell you, about half of them would be from their people. Okay. Because that is what their minds are fixated on. Until so some people who would find themselves in the forefront or the end consumers of these contents would fixate their mind on our people, these things will continue to repeat. In fact, you, even if there are people behind the scenes pushing their suggestions, that is what it will do. We can't fight it. Mm -hmm. And the second one is finance to make this happen. Okay. This, these suggestions about 90% of them are backed by finances. Because if if I am promoting my song... Money orchestrated. Of course. If I am promoting my song on any platform and I pump in money, it means that aside they pushing it to people who are listening, any other person who signs up new, that same product will be suggested to the yeah, person. Because they are supposed to market it. Exactly. Mm. So it is marketing we are talking about. So if we don't have the marketing powers to fight these things, the only way we can do it is manually. By mm. deliberately saying that... The hard way. The hard way. And that one is the most difficult. Else, we can only do this through finances. Because assuming if Black Sheriff's uh, marketing budget on Spotify is bigger than Ira Star, Definitely, you will not find Ira Star before Black Sheriff. Mm -hmm. You understand? But since Ira Star's terms and their likes have bigger marketing budget than Black Sheriff, there's a high possibility you will see them before you see Sheriff or you see them before you see Kim Promise. So we have three solutions now. Money or doing it the manual way by trying to control the, the system, that is the push-ups, the algorithms, and, and the mentioning by ourselves from as consumers. Or we find ourselves in those places of high table where we can say, oh, in this jurisdiction, I want you to push this button to the extent that it is these suggestions that will come. Mm -hmm. Else this fight again, we can shout and shout and shout and shout and shout and we might not see any result because we don't possess these three solution powers. I see. Kodo, how do you also analyze these two posts from the gentleman, um, Baba Sadiq? And Kelly ni Latemeza. <laughs> As for Kelly, there he's been on this journey for long, and at times some of his posts, I feel uh, he should give more details mm -hmm. because the little knowledge I have about these things, I tend to disagree with some of his posts because mm -hmm. it should come with some level of, especially when he gives certain accusations and all of that. Mm -hmm. Like he feels like there are some people who are orchestrating some things against behind the scenes against Ghanaian sons thriving on some of these platforms. It makes it so difficult to understand. Um, as in YouTube and other platforms deliberately sidelining Ghanaian sons for other sons to thrive. I, I find it difficult based on the little information that I also have. Mm -hmm. um, one thing is Spotify Ghana doesn't mean it is owned by Ghanaians. Okay. It is Spotify. They have a branch in Ghana. But it doesn't mean it is owned and managed by Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. That is a fact that we need to understand. If KFC opens a branch in Ghana, yes, it is, it is um, basic that you find Ghanaians patronizing it the more. But if there are Nigerians, there are Americans, there are Jamaicans in here, mm -hmm. and they are going there to buy more than Ghanaians, KFC wouldn't say they wouldn't sell to them. True. If they compare their data and they realize that, hey, even though we have a branch in Ghana, people who are patronizing it, it's more Nigerians or more um, South Africans than Ghanaians, mm -hmm. they also, it's still business. Yeah. So that is the understanding we need to, we need to get. Or like maybe Ghana Music Awards, that is for Ghanaians. So you can't have 
other um, foreign musicians dominating more than Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Because the point is, it is strictly for Ghanaians. So you have one or two categories looking the way of other foreign musicians. But that is not how um, Spotify operates when they have um, um, a branch in a certain country. Mm -hmm. And we should ask ourselves how long it took for them to even have a, a, a branch here. Because the level of business coming from our side was not enough for them to even think of considering us. Mm -hmm. They should ask why most of these streaming platforms find themselves in Nigeria. Because the market over there, it is more substantial that when they open a brand, they, they know that it is worth the investment. It's profitable. Exactly. Because when they come here, it means they are coming to spend. If they want to rent an office space, it is expenditure. If they have to employ some local um, resources, it is expenditure. Mm -hmm. So if that base is not able to foot that expenditure, it is not business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What they are saying is, okay, let's say um, Spotify, when, when they had the intention of coming here, maybe we have some music executives that okay. can approach them and say, okay, we want you to... Um, do the course of Ghana. I mean, we want to um, influence you that you make the system in such a way that it will place premium on Ghanaian songs. Mm -hmm. So the system will be designed in a way that anytime a Ghanaian song is uploaded, maybe there are certain features that it will give to the Ghanaian song that no other song can ah. overtake them. Okay. Maybe a greater percentage will be focused on Ghanaian songs, then other foreign songs will, will be given that um, um, uh, pre, um, premium or giving that relevance. But in this case, Spotify is here to make business. And the business is an open one, it is not a closed one. Yes. It is not a special um, platform that they have created for Ghanaians, mm -hmm. it is not that bias. It accommodates everybody. Mm. And it is, it is designed in a way that whatever the user wants, that is what they give to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if Nigerian songs are dominating, the question is, why are these songs dominating? Because of algorithm bias. <laughs> <laughs> and what is algorithm bias? Algorithm bias is the fact that someone is suggesting more from Nigeria than they are Nobody suggesting from Ghana. And who is doing the suggestion? Uh, they have they have manipulated the machine to work as well. <laughs> so you see, some of this conversation, if we, we, we make it that way, it becomes so I mean uh, it becomes a bit funny in a way. It's when we don't even know how um, some of these platforms operate, clearly there should be education, education about how they even Spotify and alg algorithms, how they operate. Mm -hmm. Because now we are in a global space. If I go on TikTok and I see a Nigerian song trending and I open my Spotify account mm -hmm. and I search to enjoy the song, do you think, why do you think Spotify will tell me no, no, go, go and search for a Ghanaian song. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm.